Hey guys, welcome back to The Bright Side. Macy here, The Bright Side Girl, and today we're doing my young adult swap and trade. And at this point, I can't remember what number it is. Just in case you're not familiar, I will link my young adult swap and trade playlist up here in the cards. So you can click that little I to check it out. But basically, I trade and swap young adult, adult, middle grade books with my friends. Also, there's a couple groups that I'm a part of that we post pictures of things that we have and trade with each other and all that jazz. It's very, very fun. If you do trade with people, make sure that you're very comfortable with them and you've got a full grasp on who they are so you don't get scammed or anything like that. But trading books can be a great way to clear off yourselves, get rid of some things that you no longer want, don't like, and I actually even just hunt for things for people now because I go book hunting all the time. I don't remember what I traded all these for because at this point I just buy a lot of young adult books and then I see if my friends want them and I trade them and donate them and all kinds of crazy stuff. So. This first round is from my friend Jennifer. She's had these for quite a while. She managed to finally get them out to me. So I was surprised when the box came because I didn't remember what was in it. But so we've got Scavenger of Souls. I'm actually not entirely sure what this one's about, but it's got some kind of like survival colony aspect to it. And I love a good survival read, or at least I'm trying to love a good survival read. I like the idea of them, but I haven't liked <laughs> a lot of them yet. So I keep trying. I don't know if this is like dystopian or not, but it sounds pretty cool. Then she found me a copy of Twisted Fates by Danielle Rollins. At least I think this is from her. Uh, this might actually be from another friend. I'm not entirely sure. This is like a time travel novel. This is the second book in the series. The first book being Stolen Time. I think it came out like a year or two ago. Very excited to try these ones out. The covers are fantastic. I think that's all from Jennifer. There's a couple more, but I wanted to wait and save them because I'm gonna do a like spooky and fall themed book haul here pretty soon and a couple of them fit in that category. Then my friend Brittany traded or grabbed me this copy of Superman Dawnbreaker from the DC Icon series. I have the full set now. I have all four of them. So this is by Matt De La Pena and I I'm excited to try out these like novelization of the superheroes and I think it might be based on when they're younger but I'm not entirely sure. Brittany also sent me Hunter by Mercedes Lackey. I had asked her for some books that she thought that I would like that were some of her favorites and this was one of them. I just wanted a list but she found a copy of this for me which I'm very excited about. This book is so pretty. Look at those in pages. So this is about like monster hunters and there's like this whole society. That's really all I know about it but she really loved it so I'm excited to check it out. Then she sent me Kingdom of Exiles which I've been eyeing for a little bit. I don't know much about this one but I know it's some kind of really cool royalty fantasy that she said she really enjoyed and I believe it's a standalone which is pretty cool. Then my really good friend JJ sent me her copy of Lore by Alexandra Bracken. She finished reading this and passed it along to me. So this is basically a retelling on Medusa and like Greek mythology, which we both really like. And I do enjoy Alexandra Bracken's writing style, at least what I've read of her so far. Excited to check out this one because it came out earlier this year. She also got me a copy of Cursed by Frank Miller. This one is so beautiful. This is a Netflix series now, but it is a King Arthur retelling with a, I believe a female King Arthur. There are so many of those that have come out. It's like a new trend that's happening. Um, I've heard good, really good things about it. It's such a pretty book. So pretty, lots of cool like illustrations and things like that. And I'm just excited to get to it. And I heard the show was actually decent, but I don't know if it got continued on for the next season. Then, really cool, so we did Mermaid Marathon, which is my mermaid themed readathon, ocean themed readathon last month at the very beginning of July. And I did a lot on Instagram, so be sure and follow me over there. I did like stories and reels and giveaways and all kinds of stuff. And so that kind of built up a little bit of hype. We had a hashtag. And so a couple of authors actually sent me their books, some self-published authors, their mermaidy books. So I was so thrilled because I haven't received any books yet besides from like my author friends. So this is Iridescent by S.H. Everly. I haven't read it. I don't know much about it other than that it's a mermaid book. It's a very chunky one as well. So our main character I think is moving back to California and she's got a secret. Wonder what that could be. There's like a map and some buried treasure. Sounds really cool. I'm excited to try this out. I'm going to try to get to this in a somewhat timely manner since it was sent to me so kindly. A.G. Bell sent me her book Slave of the Siren. So I think this might be a reverse harem uh, mermaid book. I'm not entirely sure though. And I think it's a little bit sexy as well. So this one is only like 100 pages. So I'm going to get to it pretty soon here. She also sent me this like 
seahorsey bookmark, which is really, really sweet. So thank you guys for sending me your mermaid books. I'm always excited to check them out. And then I think that's it. I will say that I had filmed a young adult swap and trade video last month that I think I'm missing some things out of because I lost the footage. And what I do is I set these books aside until I'm ready to film and then I film and then I put them on my shelves. So I think I'm missing some things that people like traded with me. Sorry if you're watching this and we traded and I'm not talking about it. But anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. Let me know if you swap and trade with friends and family. And if you're interested in any of these books I talked about, let me know and I will bump them up on my TBR. Stay tuned for a regular haul, which is going to come out in like a week or so. And for now, I'll see you guys next time on The Bright Side. Mm -hmm.